Hi, welcome to BCH Technologies. Today, we're going to show you how to refill the large um, cartridge for the, for the large format printer. And this is a T604. So, um, most people don't know actually, don't know how to properly refill it. Okay, uh, so you're gonna have uh, one cartridge. Uh, actually, you're gonna have eight cartridges in this set. If you need to uh, get the cartridge and tools, you can go to BCH Technologies and go to Cartridges for Epson and the Refillable. And then on the cartridge model, you click T604. And you can see it, it is the whole cartridge set with uh, the priming tool and the resetter and uh, eight funnels. Uh, I'm just gonna refill one, and uh, you have a funnel, and uh, then you're gonna have uh, those tools. Most sellers do not include those tools. So it's really helpful for you to have those tools so you don't have clogging. Of course, you have some ink, and uh, you should have a resetter. Okay. And uh, okay, what also help is uh, you will, if you can have two kits. Okay. Just run them kids from the street, okay? <laughs> and uh, that will work even better, okay? Uh, yeah, today's a uh, teacher's work day, so, uh, so I have kids with me. So first thing is, uh, let's understand the autonomy of the cartridge. Okay. So this one, you know what this this one is? Is that like the entry point? Uh, yeah, it's the word ink entry. Have have a letter on it? Mm. What's that? Refill hole. Yeah, that's where the <laughs> ink gonna come in. And uh, so I don't think I've got, got to be used of over and over. So make sure you, you got one has really strong case because you're gonna slide in, slide out, and uh, so um, they're gonna last longer. And uh, make sure if you buy this, buy with the chip, okay? And uh, this orange cap is uh, where they seal the air hole, okay? And uh, you're supposed to remove it before using it. And uh, oh, it, this is just balanced, uh, balanced air inside, uh, inside the cartridge. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the uh, the ink outlet where the ink coming out go to the go go to the printer. Okay. So first thing you do is uh, remove the refill hole, and uh, got your kids to hold the funnel, and uh, put the funnel in there. And uh, when you have a bottle of ink, make sure. Uh, can you use another hand to hold this? So, yeah, so okay. um, yeah, it look a little bit dangerous. Okay, Ethan can do that. Yeah, Ethan, you Good. Really so good. that's why we need two kits. Okay, one kit, one kit will not work. Okay. Yes, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. Uh, so it's very important when you have it. Try to cut this clear so it's easier to pour in. And then when you pour in, uh, just make sure you pour in slowly. And don't get, don't make any, don't make any uh, bubbles. And also make sure only you wear the uh, gloves. The kids doesn't need the gloves. So when they get their hands dirty, just go out uh, and uh, get another kit. Okay. Very loyal. Don't shake, guys. Okay. Good. Okay. Clean. And hold it. Don't don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Um. So if you just uh, sitting for a while, make sure all, all the ink gets in. And let me get a get a paper towel. Okay. So now you can put a syringe on the paper towel. There you go. And can I get another piece of uh, paper towel? Yep. See, uh, it's already pretty clean. And now we need to put uh, the refill plug back. And make sure it's sealed. Okay, the refill plug, make sure it's sealed. Okay, uh, when you refill, do not fill all the way. And uh, so leave about uh, uh, like quarter inch from the top, okay. 
So this one is designed, it can hold a maximum of 320 uh, milliliters, but you don't want to put all 320. And uh, you, you want to put a 300, about 300 in there, okay? Okay, the next thing is, if you see, uh, uh, if you see air in here, uh, maybe it's the first time you're going to see air. So what you want to do is, uh, you want to use the first adapter. So this adapter and you get a 10 mil syringe. You want to draw the ink out of here. See the ink coming in? Mm -hmm. Good. So this is very important. Otherwise, all those ink are going to go to the printhead, which uh, possibly going to clog the printhead. And the second one is this big guy. Okay, this big guy is very, very interesting. Okay, what you do is counterintuitive. Okay, let me show you what I do. So uh, for each, uh, for each uh, liter of ink, you want to put in 50 ml of uh, air. So this is about a, uh, this is about a third of a liter. So we're, I'm, I'm, we're going to put a 20 ml of, in, of air in, okay? So remove this and put it aside because you you're not you're gonna use this uh, when you when you use the uh, when you use the cartridge. Okay. So we we'll use this yellow adapter and uh, put in the air hole. Then we put all the twenty mil in uh, air in it. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, I'm just showing this way. When you do it, you're supposed to upright like this, right. see? Yeah. And uh, see, uh, then the cartridge is going to push all the 20 mil back. Okay. Now you're going to push all the way back again. And the cartridge will push it back. Okay. You, you stop at exactly how much you put in. You put in 20, okay. And this is three times. Twenty. Okay. Now you can remove this. And now you can this cartridge is, is uh, ready for use. So no air here, the air is balanced. Okay? So um, now it's uh, now when you use the ink. Uh, when you're gonna reset a re reset a car, reset a chip, well, when you are low on ink, uh, the time to reset the chip is you have at least fifteen percent of ink left in the ink counter in the ink gauge. Okay, uh, I'm not talking about the real ink, how much physically, how much ink in here. So if your printer is shows low ink and where you see those color bars, if it's less than fifteen percent. It's very hard to reset it. You might not be able to reset it, okay? And uh, uh, so when you see uh, maybe you maybe it's twenty percent, and uh, you need to take the cartridge out, and here's how, how you reset it. See the edge here, and you have a you, you have a you have a bar here. So what you do is uh, you have a four pins on the top, three pins on the bottom. So you just line up with those pins. And push in and uh, until the light goes green when it's go when it goes green and uh, the, it is reset okay and you put it in again and it is going to show you uh, full ink level what happened is the printer cannot detect how much ink in the cartridge so the printer just count how many pages printed so it, uh, let, let's say this can print uh, maybe 5,000 copies so the page number goes from zero to five thousand. When go to five thousand, the printer think you are. Um, I mean, the ink is depleted, and uh, so so. Let's say if you are at four thousand level, uh, that's the time uh, twenty percent. You should reset the ink. So if you take the cartridge out, refill it without resetting it, you put it back, and. This chip still shows 4,000 pages, so the printer still think you don't have ink, although you have a full tank of ink. Okay, that's why you want to reset it uh, after you refill it. Okay. 
So I think uh, that's all you need to know. And uh, when I store it, I like to put this back so we can put it aside. And uh, so before before you use it, just uh, unplug it and and put it in. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, this video. And uh, chtechnologies.com and uh, or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. You want you guys want to say bye? Bye. bye.